So, I am making the Armored Bat Helmet from Batman vs. Superman. This is going to be a multi-part series following my process of the build. And this is part one where I 3D print the helmet. So, stay tuned for that. So this is where it starts. This is the uh, first part of the 3D model that I made. This is after about maybe 15 or 20 minutes of work based on some reference photos I found online. Uh, the software I'm using is called AC3D by a company called Innovis, but any other 3D modeling software will work just fine. This is the finished model. It took me about maybe a day, a day and a half to complete, but I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. The model was brought over to Blender and thickness was added and it was smoothed out to get it 3D print ready. From there, the helmet was then scaled and divided into parts for printing in a program called NetFab. It's free to use and it's really helpful. Those parts were then placed into 3D print slicing software. I'm using Cura. And from here, the parts are sent to the printer to be printed off. So after the print's done, you take it off, and then you start a new print. And repeat the process over and over. This right here was the final piece. This is the uh, back, lower, left-hand side piece of the helmet. And here's it off the bed. Now, all of the parts are fully printed and ready to be put together. What I'm doing right now is filing down the surfaces where they'll be glued together. This does two things. The one, it ensures that it's a flat surface so everything fits together properly. And two, the roughening of the surface helps pr promote adhesion for the superglue. Alright, now I start gluing it together. To make it simple, I glue everything in pairs at first, just so nothing's too complex. And here are the first pieces. They're still drying in the moment, so I'll let them sit for a few minutes after this. Now from those pieces, I started gluing them together in sections vertically. I'm divided them into thirds.
this part of the helmet wasn't lining up properly and so you'll see me only glue one half the first time just to get that one side lined up and then after that's clamped down for a few seconds I go ahead and start the other side. And there you go, one fully 3D printed Batman helmet. So that was part one. If you like what you saw, consider subscribing by clicking this button right here. And if you want to watch another video of me 3D printing a Mark 42 Iron Man helmet, click this video right here.